Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you think that this is a clickbait, you're wrong. I don't do clickbaits on my channel um, and I generally got these batteries for free. If you want to find out how, stick around and you find out shortly. I'm going to summarize a couple of things that we are going to be doing today in today's video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to review this tool. This is a Top Don AB101 or RT Battery 101. Top Don has kindly provided me um, for today's review with this tool. I'm going to tell you about how to get a free battery later on in the video. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to go through the menu. I'm going to show you all the options and uh, all the settings. We're going to do three types of testing. We're going to test a battery outside the vehicle. We're also going to do cranking test and we're going to do charging test. With the battery outside of the vehicle, we can test a poor battery and a good battery. And as I mentioned, we're going to do cranking test. When we start the engine, we're going to see if the cranking is good on the battery that is in the vehicle. And then we're going to do charging test, which it's loaded and unloaded. So you'll see that later on in the video. I'm going to bring you closer. I'm going to bring the camera close so you can see the screen properly. We're going to go through the menu and then we're going to run the test on this battery. The first thing you want to do is, I've done this off camera, so connect the red one to the positive and the black one to the negative terminal. And whenever you do that, uh, the tool will light up. This is the voltage of the battery. If you click OK, you will go in the menu and you have six options. The first option is battery test, which is what we're going to be doing. The second one is cranking test, uh, which we'll do next after the the after we test the battery outside the vehicle. The third one is a charging test. Again, this is going to be done on the vehicle with the vehicle running. Um, the number four is review data. We'll get to this in a minute. Language and about. So let's start from the bottom. About is basically something that you're probably not going to need at all. This is the serial number and uh, some information about probably software um, about the tool. So let exit out of this. The next thing is language. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You can select the language. There's English, French, German, Spanish, Italian and Russian. We're going to be using English today. Now preview data. This is something that um, this tool will obviously save some information about your last battery test. So if you click OK, you will see this is what I run off camera and I tested this very same battery in front of us and it shows that this is a good um, healthy battery. Now we're going to run the test again so you can see how it works. Let's proceed with the battery test with the battery outside of the vehicle not charged. This will give you a few options. So you have five options on the screen. In my case, this is a regular flooded battery. You have AGM flat plate, AGM spiral, gel and EFB. I'm going to select the first one because this is what I have. Now, you have different standards. You have SAE, um, you have GB, you have IEC, EN. I have a battery that has EN, JIS, DIN, CCA, which probably stands for cold cranking amps, again CA, um, BCI, MCA, so quite a lot of options. This case, this battery is SAE. Um, if you look at uh, your battery, you're probably going to see what standard your battery is using. And in my case, it's SAE, as I mentioned. Now, click OK. And I've already selected uh, the cranking amp, so my battery is rated at 1000. You're going to see it here on this label, or just check your battery, it mightn't be necessary here, just could be anywhere in the battery, it will tell you the cranking amps. So I've selected off camera 1000. Um, this goes in increments of 5 amps, so I'm going to go with 1000. OK, and this is actually doing the testing as we speak. So what do we have here? We have a healthy battery, 71% health. The charge is 100%. I haven't charged this battery in a very long time, by the way, but it's good to see this holding the charge. And then the resistance, the internal resistance is 3.55 mega ohms. Um, and as we said, it's rated for 1000 because that's what I selected. And then it shows, you, it shows us the standard that we are using, which is SAE. And then on the bottom, of course, is probably the most important thing you want to look at is it's the indicator of whether your battery is good or not. So this is a good battery. So we finish with this good battery. I'm going to do a test on a poor battery, uh, which is one of the smaller batteries here that I have. And you're going to see uh, what will say on the bottom here and then the information that is going to be on the screen. 
Let's connect the negative terminal and the positive terminal first and then obviously the screen will light up it's automatically showing us the voltage which is 12.32 click OK and again we're going to do a battery test so this is again regular flooded the standard we are using is SAE and this battery is rated 640 amps so we're gonna reduce this to 640 amps so this is 640 click OK and we're testing the battery the indicator here shows that you need to replace this battery so this is how simple it is with literally few clicks on of the of the buttons here you will get a, a, good, a reading whether this battery is healthy or not okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a cranking test the battery in my vehicle is located at the back which is in the boot of the car or trunk if you're in America we're going to hook up the tool to the positive terminal and to the negative terminal let's select the test so click on OK cranking test click OK and now we need to start the engine within 20 well 30 seconds so we have about 25 seconds left okay so let me show you the results that we got from the cranking test the time is 2959 milliseconds the voltage drop was uh, down to 10.25 volts and this uh, test shows as normal the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the charging test so in order to select the charging test you go to option number three click OK and uh, it just says please start the engine press OK to continue we're going to press OK to continue and this is doing now a ripple test this is detecting the current charging load the testing so I need to increase the RPM to two and a half thousand RPM um, and keep it for five seconds and then press OK to continue so the charging test um, the loaded is 14.05 and unloaded is 14.07 so the charging is normal and this concludes the, the review and the testing of this tool now let's get to the uh, first part of the video where I'm going to tell you how I got these batteries for free okay folks um, so we've done the testing hopefully you enjoyed the review of this tool um, now I'm going to tell you how I got these batteries for free um, before I say anything I must say that this is probably not for everyone some of you who have good uh, big budgets there um, you're probably not going to want to do something like that but uh, the rest of you who have a small budget or no budget for a new battery is going to be a great tip it certainly works for me um, as you can see I have a lot of vehicles here and uh, I move them about for filming and stuff like that so it's very practical to have a battery in each vehicle I keep them disconnected just so they don't drain um, but yeah, as I said, it's handy to have a battery in, in each vehicle, just hook up the negative lead and the way I go, I can start the engine, move the car and that's it. So um, I brought my old batteries to the local scrapyard and whilst I was waiting on the queue, I noticed trucks bringing um, damaged vehicles. So what the people that work there in the scrapyard, they drain all the fluids from the vehicles, they remove the battery, they put the battery on the pallet and then they crush the vehicle the vehicle goes away for recycling and then the batteries go away for recycling so I thought some of these batteries are probably um, in good order in good working order they're healthy batteries um, and that was the case so I asked the um, people that work there if um, if they'll charge me anything to just swap my bad batteries put them on the pallet and check some of the ones that were there to see if they're any good if I can just exchange them so um, I thought they were going to charge me something but they actually ended up uh, letting me uh, take these batteries for free at the time I had a very very cheap budget multimeter and I was always only checking the voltage um, which is not the best thing to do now these tools are designed to test batteries and that's what they do best um, so I recommend you um, if you're a vehicle owner and if you have um, 
more than one vehicle. If you're um, in, in the um, mechanicing business, you're definitely going to need one of these. It's money very well spent. So what I did is uh, second time I had my battery tester, I went because it's so much quicker. You can just do, run a, a, a battery test and it will tell you whether the battery is healthy or not. It checks the resistance, voltage, amps and other things. Um, as I said, it's very, very quick. So that's what I did. I got, as far as I can remember, the last time I got seven batteries. So I swapped seven bad batteries for seven good batteries. Um, Sometimes I help out friends. Um, I have a friend of mine who his battery failed and he was um, his financial situation wasn't great. So um, he brought me his bad battery. I gave him a good battery and he was over the moon. So I'm glad I helped somebody else. It's good for the environment. Um, it's, uh, it's good to recycle and reuse stuff. So um, yeah, I thought this was something uh, I could share with, uh, with my audience and hopefully um, you, you find this um, as a good uh, money saving tip. So yeah, if you enjoy the video, if you enjoy my content in general, hit the like button, uh, comment, subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. This is what I wanted to, uh, to tell you about my experience and how I get free batteries. Hope you enjoy this and I'll see you soon.